I love postseason baseball. And we were just doing a baseball. Do you go hat? Do you go lid? Do you go cap? Music, you grew up in the Valley in Los Angeles. I need, <laughs> I need to find my, what do you call it? Uh, I, would, I would go with hat. 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 Just good old-fashioned hat. hat. We, we don't, in, in California, we don't like, people are like, well, what do you call your soda? Do you call it pop? Do you call it, I, I always grow up, we call everything a Coke. Yeah, yeah do, again, I'll take a Coke. What kind? Dr. Pepper. You know, right? Even though it's not, I don't know. Ramos, what do you call it? Do you call a hat, lid, I have, cap? I, I don't know if this is bad to say. I've Bonnet? never <laughs> I've never used the terminology lid ever for a hat. I just always called it a hat. A hat, a, a hat's yeah. a hat. I think it's a new thing. Well, not new, new, but in the it's last not, couple not, of years. Not that, not that not new. Not that new, Dan, okay. Dan Beyer grew up in Wisconsin. He's traveled all over. He's uh, you know made his way out to the West Coast. Uh, Dan, what do you call uh, that that piece of accruciment <laughs> you put on your, your your dome when you go to a baseball game? I'm with John and I've never really used lid. I've used hat more than I've used cap, but I'm not exclusive to lid or to, to hat. I've used cap before, but never really lid. If you're in the zone of foul ball, is it okay to bring a glove to a even to a to a playoff game? I've never been a glove guy. Okay. I have to hold my Salted peanuts <laughs> and hot dogs. Salted yeah. peanuts. Your peanuts are salty. Michael Rappaport joins us. He's got a tour, uh, stand up, uh, stand up comet. Is that what it is? A stand up comet tour? Is that what it's called? You're in D.C. this weekend at the D.C. Improv in New York City at Caroline's. Wow, famous Caroline's. He's gonna be on the stage. That's uh, on the 17th through the 19th. Go to michaelrappaportcomedy.com. Do you call it a cap? Do you call it a lid? What do you call it? Um, are you asking me, Doug? Yes. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I, I call it a hat. Okay. okay. If you're going to wear like some sort of accoutrement, like a jazz hat, like you're out, uh, you know, like like some sort of uh, you know, like cute hat, mm -hmm. maybe then if I'm if I'm being sarcastic, I will call it a cap. Mm -hmm. But but Doug, I, I have to say, I mean, maybe maybe the copy was spelled wrong. It's stand up comedy. And I would expect your improvisational skills in your college education to be like, oh, maybe it's spelled wrong or there's an E left <laughs> off or a Y. It's stand-up comedy. I, I didn't listen. I, listen comedy on the copy, I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture and send you a copy of it. It says stand-up comet, comet now. That's what it yeah, says. But what, I'm, what I'm saying. I didn't know if like that was, I was like, man, maybe he's got some funny stand-up comet joke that he wants no, me to Doug, set up for him. No, Doug, Doug, Doug you're a pro. Uh, you're college educated. You're a, you're a worldly guy. You've seen the world. This I, is I true. expect you to be able to have some improvisational skills to be like, oh, it's comedy. Uh, uh, you know, go through it's 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 the the disruptive stand up comedy tour. I'm on it right now. I'm actually in D.C. right now. Yeah, beautiful, um, a beautiful time I'm, to be I'm in always, D.C. I'm always excited to talk to you. Um, you know, it's coming up on the greatest time of the year in sports. We have the NBA looming. We have the NFL getting into full swing. We have a, a baseball playoff, <clears throat> and 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 I'm on the Doug Gottlieb show. Although you disappointed me with that. I mean, that's the second time I have to say that will go down as the second time you disappointed me. Of course, the first time you know where I'm going with it is during the Celebrity All Star Game when you picked somebody up full court. Neo, press. Neo's Neo. Right. Neo. I was trying to win the quarter, and I did. I got a steal and a layup, and I felt good about myself. I mean, you you crushed me on ESPN, but I I felt. I felt fine about myself, you know, right? Right. Okay. If I if I if I'm gonna try, I'd rather try too hard than than not try hard enough. Um, are you Yankees scared, or Mets? But, are you Yankees you or Mets? What, you're a Yan you're a Yankee guy, aren't you? I'm a Yankee guy. I'm yeah. not a big baseball guy. I just want to go just back off of that that thing. You scared everybody at the game. Good. I just want to let you know, like everybody was scared. The women, the children at the game, people at home were like, "What's this guy doing? Why is he full court pressing? It's a celebrity." All Star Game. I just want to let's move forward, but I just want you to know yeah. when you when you toss and turn on the pill tonight, just know like, oh wow, I, I scared people. I, it's good. Go I'm, I'm okay with that. It's like it's like parenting. There has to be a little bit of fear there, right? Not an uncomfortable amount of fear, but a little a little bit of fear there. A little bit. Okay, are you it. are you were you always in the now like you're are you leading the Daniel Jones charge? Are you big on Daniel Jones? Well, I might have been on uh, when you were guest hosting for Colin. I might have been on there, just like everybody else, going, "What the f? Why are we picking up a football player from Duke?" But my 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 tone and my 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 whole thing has changed immediately. I'm very impressed with him. Listen, you know we have a lot a lot ways to go, a lot of ways to go to improve the team. But the thing that I like about him is he's composed. He seems like an NFL quarterback. 
<laughs> and that's what I like so far. We're, we're, tell me if I'm mistaken. The Giants are two and two. Yep. Listen, who knows where we're going to go from here? But the fact that we're two and two right now, the way it started off, I'm, I'm, I feel, I feel fine. You know what's amazing about it? The Giants are taking on the Minnesota Vikings this weekend. And if I would have told you two months ago that Daniel Jones would be starting and Giant fans are good with their quarterback situation, Kirk Cousins is starting for the Minnesota Vikings and they are completely apoplectic beside themselves about their quarterback situation, you would have told me, Doug Gottlieb, you are certifiably insane, but that's actually where we are right now. I, I just got to back up again. I'm sorry. Um, I know we're trying to make forward project, progress. What's the word you just used? Apro what? Apoplectic. Apro- apoplectic. And Apopl- you, you, you know you know how to use the word apoplectic going full speed on live radio, yeah. but you couldn't figure out Michael Rapport's stand-up comedy tour. I, are you uh, uh, apoplectic? I never even heard that word. Yes, That's you an have. impressive word that you yeah, threw at me. You are apo- uh, Honestly, you are a lot of times you're apoplectic. Um uh many many times on radio like you know when you're on with Stern and about his fa- on the fantasy stuff or yeah. you know when you're going after the president on social yeah. media like yeah. you are beside yourself you are apoplectic I need to throw that word in my vocabulary anyway uh yes that's a very good point that you brought up overcome there. with uh, anger extremely indignant that's apoplectic a p o p l e c t i c apoplectic spelling it and all that, but c- comedy you couldn't you couldn't figure out. No, there. I couldn't. I, I listen. I did the Ron Burgundy thing. Sue me. The the the, the Giants. You, that's a great point. No one would have thought that. I thought that the the, the Kirk Cousins Minnesota Vikings with Stefan and uh, uh, I got a feeling feeling. Um, you know, would be would be a scoring uh, you know juggernaut. I thought those guys would be putting up points with Dalvin. Uh, who I have in my fantasy football team. I don't know what's going on out there. Um, it's surprising to everybody. Yes, and, you uh, yes you do. Kirk Cousins is that super nice, odd G shucks guy. And the truth is, like, that's not really how it works in professional sports. You didn't get the ball? Get open next time and I'll see if I can get it to you. He's so apologetic. He's so nice. He, he just doesn't have the, um, he doesn't have the <clears throat> lower intestinal fortitude for this job. Do you think it'll turn around for the... Not that I care. Like, I don't care about the Vikings. The only thing I care about the Vikings for is, is in regard to my fantasy football. Um, but but do you think they'll... Like, do you think there's any chance of this being a, a high-scoring game with the Giants this week? And I'm asking it, you because, it, it you know, proven it, to be smart. It better be. The Giants' defense is not very good, right? Mm-hmm. Like, no, no one would argue otherwise. Giants' defense is not very good, and... Uh, they they have to give some confidence to people, otherwise they're going to lose Stefan Diggs. Like, take a listen to this. I, I'll play this for you because I know you're busy with your stand up comet tour. Jesus, <laughs> this is this is Stefan Diggs earlier today. There's been speculation and stuff that you might want to be traded. Speculation you be traded is a uh, along with rumors and all that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I yeah. feel like uh, I feel like there's truth to all rumors. I mean, no matter how you dress it up. I won't be saying nothing on it. I won't be speaking on it at all. But there is truth to all rumors, I guess. Is there truth to the rumors that you want to be traded? Um, I just answered that question, Chris. So you do want to be traded? I did. I said that. Well, you said, I said it's I said there's truth to all rumors. And what I mean by that, so I can, you know, politely explain. Um, there was a lot of speculation of me being frustrated. Of course, you know, at being a, being a receiver and um, wanting to have success and wanting to win. If you want to win it, you're not winning. Of course, you'll be frustrated. That's my How is he the only guy that doesn't think he said he wanted to be traded with those statements? You, you know what? You know what the thing is a lot with, with these athletes, but, but particularly with these receivers? Yo, you, the guy asked you a point blank question. You know, everybody's like, yo, I, I'm this, I'm here for my career. You're, you're putting out all the insinuation. He asked you the question. You want to be a big guy. You want to be in control of your career. You, you want to be more than an athlete. You want to be more than a player. That was your chance to do it, yep. and you, you, you didn't do it. So either be, either really go full fledged and be that dude and be fully disruptive and own everything you're thinking, saying, and feeling, or shut up. It, like it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why are you playing the middle ground? You want to be traded? Say you want to be traded, and and let's 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 see if it's going to happen. Otherwise, stop playing all these games. Show up to practice. And and if I'm an owner and I'm a coach and I'm a GM, I start finding these guys because just because things aren't going good, you're four games into the season, you're throwing a hissy fit. 
you know, what can you do to make the team better? What can I do to make this show better? I'm on this show right now. Again. What am I going to do to make this show better? I, I, I think about that. I think about that before I pick up the phone. My friend, me amigo, that's bilingual. That's bilingual. <laughs> Michael, just, Michael, Michael Rapport, uh, DC Improv this weekend. Uh, Caroline's in New York the 17th to the 19th. It's the Stand Up Comedy Now Tour. Or stand up comedy, stand up comment tour. We're not really sure exactly, uh, in, exactly what it is. It's indignant. That's what it is. You'll be apoplectic that you didn't see more of or hear more of uh, Michael Rappaport. All right, let's let's get to kind of your wheelhouse. Uh, LeBron now wants you know high college players to get paid for appearances. He wants all these things. Now he's also saying, hey, if we're not playing through Anthony Davis then we're wrong. He's saying, get the ball to Anthony Davis. Don't get the ball to me. What's your reaction when LeBron James, who thinks of himself as the greatest player ever, is saying pass the ball to somebody else when the Lakers take the floor? I, I don't I don't buy any of that, but, 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 but to the first thing that you brought up with the college thing, I love how he wants to sit here and take credit. Like, he, he came up with the idea, uh, championed, it, championed it, and got it done that college players are going to get paid. I, I love how he, he wants to sort of be the, the face of that. You, 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 this has been in the works. It's not done. It's a bunch of propaganda, which he put out on his show. And, and this, is, this is just another, like, thick, strong leg, a log into the fire of why this guy, in my opinion, is the fakest guy in the NBA uh, uh, with, with all that nonsense. He, he's literally trying to take credit. Like, he's the guy that, that's getting this done. It's ridiculous. Um, as far as playing through Anthony Davis, I think that's the right thing to say. At the end of the day, he's still top one, top two, top three player in the league. Uh, uh, I hope he's uh, healthy, um, you know, and I hope that, you know, the, the whole league remains healthy. It's going to be exciting. Uh, you know, I, at the end of the day, uh, you know, he, he's going to have the ball in his hand the, mo- mo- the most uh, out of any Laker. I don't care who they, you know, give the, the, uh, the title of point guard. It's LeBron James. He's not playing off the ball never going to happen until maybe his very, very last years when he, if, if he ever runs out of gas and he still plays. Um, but, but, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be sick. I can't wait for this season to start. I mean, I, I'm even watching preseason games and whoever cares about NBA preseason, but just to see, you know, little tidbits of the chemistry that's going to be developing on all these teams. No one will have the chemistry that you and I have. Unfortunately, we have, we have yet to tour together. Uh, my comedy act, your comedy act, apparently they can't coincide. If you want to check out Michael Rappaport, uh, who, of course, razzed me during the Celebrity All-Star Game nearly a decade ago and will not let me forget it, uh, feel free to do so this weekend, DC Improv. He gets a piece. He gets a little bit piece of the pie if you show up. So <laughs> so, so rattle, rattle his cage a little bit. Rappaport, let's wrap when you get in town. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Doug. I'll talk to you guys soon. That's my guy, Michael Rappaport. Good dude. Good dude. Um, am I the worst guy ever that I want a cheap Wahoo hat? It's an honest question. Buyer, am I a bad human being because I want a cheap Wahoo hat? Like I and and for the record, you guys, this is before we ever worked together. I was I was the guy saying like we should not change the Redskins logo, and all of a sudden that that was like one of those deals to where Dan Snyder's like, ah, eh, not doing it. Too much equity in it. Am I a bad guy for saying, you know, I don't want to see Indians hat. I want the Chief Wahoo hat. I think it's really cool. Does that make me a bad guy? I don't think it makes you a bad guy. No. Did you think we were going to change the Redskins logo or nickname back when that was a controversy slash non-troversy? I'm going to say about, what, three and a half years ago? I didn't. I don't think that it's going to be changed. I don't think so either. Did you think it should be? Um... I don't, I don't, I don't take any offense to it, but I'm you also not the one American, that's, right? Yes. I got it. Yes. All right. Sorry, I was. I'm talking to Rapport. We're talking about hats. You got me super excited about it. I'm on lids, and I'm like, well, that's all right. I just put a graphic up on Twitter as well. Yeah, which I think is actually pretty good with Microsoft Paint, guys. I have to <laughs> Microsoft admit. Paint, nice. <laughs> I just like the fact that you started a segment. I didn't even hear anything Rapport said. I'm so into which hats I should buy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Doug Godley from uh, Fox Sports Radio, and you need to subscribe to the Fox Sports Radio YouTube channel where you can hear and see me. Why not? Plus, everybody else who's awesome here in Fox Sports Radio.